Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. So I had this idea. <laughs> I'm attempting to become a mom for a day. Obviously, I don't have kids of my own yet, so to make this experience possible, I had to ask my sister if I could take care of her kids from morning until night, or at least until I put them to bed. I have two nieces and one nephew, and sometimes they can be a lot to handle. So I asked my sister to give me a basic guideline of all the things that they do in one day, the certain times that they need to do certain things, just kind of like an outline for how our day is supposed to go. It's currently 8.27, gonna be 8.30. Um, I've been here for like 45 minutes already. As far as I know, the kids woke up around like 7 a.m. I woke up at 6, so I'm already, <laughs> I'm already feeling it. I'm already feeling something. I don't know, this, this idea just really, really, really randomly popped into my head, but I thought that it would be a really nice challenge for me because I, someday hope to have kids of my own and it's weird because a lot of the people that i knew from high school are like already getting married already having kids like it's weird <laughs> it's weird and then like here i am doing youtube like it's like we're everyone's on a totally different path and like i'm questioning things but like i'm good where i'm at right now like i <laughs> whew, i really don't want kids right now because i have so much to accomplish before doing that and i know that I can't be selfish because I'm very selfish with my time and I like to do like a lot of work I like to do a lot of projects like take on some videos like this and I know that if I have kids I can't devote time to things like that which is why I have put off on having kids for right now so I definitely am going into this knowing that it's gonna be hard knowing that it's gonna be difficult I don't doubt for one second that what mothers do is hard I know that it's very hard especially when you're a single parent my sister is still married so luckily you know she has her husband to raise their children together which is amazing my mom didn't have that my mom was a single parent so I know that it's definitely hard I know it's not easy but I love my nieces and my nephew and we're just gonna see how this goes. I I don't plan for anything to go out perfectly. I actually kind of plan for it to like kind of be a mess and have like really nice like sentimental moments in between. But with kids, you never know. You just never know. So I'm gonna try to go through this day with little to no help from my sister, her husband, or my mom because my mom lives with my sister at the moment. I'm gonna try not to rely on them. I'm gonna try to make dinner. I'm gonna try to be the entire package, okay? Um, I mean, I already am, but <laughs> mom style. Let's go be a mom. Oh my God, am I a mom? I'm not, but um, for today, I'm a mom. <laughs> like I said, I asked my sister to give me an outline for the day and she sent this to me last night. This is basically everything they do all day. And um, it's a lot. So they already had breakfast. They brushed their teeth and they got comfy. So at 9 a.m. she said, we start lessons in Hope's room with a calendar time. I'm gonna play teacher today. So at 9 a.m., class is in session. Children, I have arrived. Ready? You know your months, right, baby? Yeah. Wait. Okay, what's the first month? Wait. No. It's here. Yeah, yeah. January. January. February. 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 March. March. April. April. May. May. June. 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 July. July. August. Good. August. September. September. October. 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 November. November. December. December. The month is September. September. Yes, and today is Friday. The third. Today is Monday. So again, January. January. Now we're gonna go to the fridge and look at the days of the week. Okay. Yeah. Days of the week. What's today? Monday. What was yesterday? Sunday. Good job. So what's tomorrow? Tuesday. Yes. On a point. Okay, go. Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Thursday. 
Thursday. A Thursday. Friday. A Friday. Saturday. A Saturday. Sunday. A Sunday. High five. With your hands. Okay. Now go eat. Come take your seat in the classroom. We are learning a little bit more about the days of the week with some fun tunes. guys just popping into narrate here a little bit because I didn't really get to do much narrating in this part but um, everyone is doing a learning activity at the moment hope is doing the coloring book activity um, my sister usually gives her like really easy activities to do during this time Juju likes to just color and paint she really loves to do that honestly I love you Alyssa. I love you too baby Aiden is just tracing his name over and over again on two pages He's, he's learning, he's getting there. But that's awesome that he is already starting to do that. So proud of him. It's barely 11. Kids, where are we going? To Chuck E. Cheese. We're going to Chuck E. Cheese. Are you gonna be good? Yeah. Oh, Please be good. <laughs> Quick little update, guys. Um, we're back home from Chuck E. Cheese. We've been home for like 10 minutes now. Oh my god. I almost dropped my camera. Anyway, um, yeah, we've been back for like 10 minutes already. Both of the girls are asleep. Hope is right there knocked out beside me. Juju's in the other room. Aiden's still wide awake. Chuck E. Cheese was rough. It was rough. <laughs> I almost had like a freaking mental breakdown. But in the end, it was fine. I'm on my second coffee of the day, by the way. When the girls wake up, we are going to have lunch and then I'm gonna give them a bath. Then I'm gonna get started on dinner. And then um, I think I'm gonna read them a story, get them ready for bed. And then I'm gonna try to put them to bed, but since they're asleep right now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. So we'll see how that goes.
update dinner was bomb okay if i'm feeling gracious and generous check the description box down below for the recipe i'm gonna give the kids a bath put them in their jammies brush their teeth read them a story just really try to put them to bed because i miss my bed i miss Endry. i miss my dogs like i miss my simple life <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the end of the night. It is 8.15 p.m. <sighs> Let me explain. If you notice that I didn't give Aiden a bath along with the girls, um, it's because he was acting very crazy. His parents like called it a night for him and um, they sent him straight to bed. After that happened, I gave the girls a bath and then I put on their pajamas and as soon as I was done putting on the pajamas, um, Hope started to like have a tantrum. She was crying like for no reason because she didn't like the pajamas I gave her. <sighs> so then her parents called it a night for both of the girls as well. I escaped having to put them to bed because I probably wouldn't have been that good at it anyway. Even though I have done it in the past, but I just feel like they're so awake right now. So probably wouldn't have gone well. I knew how hard it was to take care of kids. Like, trust me, I know like I've babysat before. I babysat for a whole day, but like I would usually be the helper. My mom would be the one really taking care of the kids and I would just like put them to sleep, give them food, take them somewhere, things like that. I learned a couple things from this. I learned that um, kids are a joy. They can be a joy but only if you're in the right headspace to have a child. I think that's why I found myself struggling so hard today because I'm not in that right headspace to have a kid right now because kids can be selfish. It's kind of in their nature. They want everything that they want, they demand it, and if they can't have it, they freak out and they cry. And in many ways, I guess I'm kind of like that. I like to be able to have like a free schedule. I like to be able to answer to basically no one except you know my family and stuff like that raising a kid is extremely hard and i've known that from the beginning which is why i i've tried my hardest not to have a kid and it's worked out so far i think the main thing that i learned today though was how much i'm not ready to start a family to have a kid i like to dedicate like all my effort and work into things and i think that i would be the same way with a child i would love to dedicate all my time love effort energy and I wouldn't have time for anything else. I've thought about having kids before. I have. When I was younger, I used to pick out some baby names for my imaginary kids. So I I do plan to have kids in the future. Just not right now, sis. <laughs> also, can we talk about how exhausting being a mother is? Like, I know that I wasn't an actual mother, okay? I tried to be a mother for today, which it gave me an idea. I feel like it wasn't exactly like how a mother's actual day would go kind of in a way but i woke up at six in the morning like six in the morning that's another thing like oh my god like how can you when a baby is first born they never sleep and like when they do it's like at three in the afternoon like you can't win moral of the story guys is um kids are cool kids are great they're awesome and they deserve amazing, inspirational, motivational, caring, kind, loving parents. And one day, maybe my kid will watch this and we'll be like, hey, here I am. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was fun to kind of play house for a little bit. Not really, but it was an experience. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> So if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Also, make sure to turn on my post notifications to be notified every single time I upload. As always, I love you guys very much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, so you thought this video was over, did you now? Well, um, it's not. Oh man. Guess what? I'm a pranking channel now. <laughs> um... 
yeah, I just finished editing this video. I realized that I only really mentioned like one or two things that I learned from this whole experience. Um, and I didn't get to tell you the other things that I learned because I did learn more than just two things. I learned that I'm a really cool aunt. I'm a really cool Thea and I like that title. It's a lot less pressure than being the parentals, um, if you will. <laughs> I like being able to be the fun, cool Thea that my nieces and nephew can come to whenever they, they need something or they just want to just want to talk so that's cool I learned that that's a very good role for me right now and that I'm, I'm happy with that role the other thing that I learned was uh, how life would be like if I was a family vlogger um, yikes <laughs> I don't know would you guys watch <laughs> I guess it's just a, a really big difference it was really hard filming with kids. Whenever I'm filming, I'm always like so on the ball with like making sure to shoot everything so that I have like more than enough footage to work with rather than not enough. And I felt like that wasn't the case with this video. There was so many times where the kids were crying, the kids were fighting, and my first instinct is to want to stop it, you know? I don't have a cameraman with me, so my first instinct was to, you know, get them to stop fighting, not reach for my camera, and record them so you can see like me being frustrated throughout the entire day but it was definitely a change from what i'm used to in the end i already knew that i am happy where i'm at right now that i do not want kids right now i guess this whole experience just kind of reassured me of that forgot to mention that my sister does have a youtube channel for the kids so i will link that down below so go check them out go give them some love i'll also put her instagram and stuff in the description box peace and love from your cool aunt later bye